Okay, um, let me walk you through the classic car, car park uh, at Goodwood Revival. So, if you want to spend the day, technically you don't really have to go in there, you know, um, because there's so much to see. Uh, all the car enthusiasts, car petrol heads, um, it's all of the vehicles uh, which been which have been um, parked over the winter periods, they, they normally get in, um, they get in those vehicles out, um, those rusty wheels, <laughs> stiff, stiff lower arms um, to exercise. Um, obviously any, any of the um, classic car shows um, uh, around the summertime um, makes these all, uh, makes these old, uh, um, some of them probably are bangers, some of them are nice, some of them are probably just about to <laughs> probably made it here. But um, the guys, obviously, they're bringing them out um, to warm up. Uh, those stiff joints, you know, um, across the uneven uh, road surfaces. So that's why it's quite impressive. There's so many. Probably, if you have been uh, to any of the car shows, um, or maybe if you haven't, then you probably would never see in your life that many um, classic cars around uh, around yourself or surrounded within a um, tight compound um, um, on, on the field um, with, with huge engine noises around um, and uh, just giving you that uh, dynamic weekend um, great uh, feeling um, during um, during the weekend and um, I'm pretty sure if you um, if you had um, a bad mood, right, or you, if you had a shit day, or it doesn't matter what it could be, you know. Um, if you turn up here, I guarantee you, it will put your smile on your face. You know, um, some rare examples, um, some expensive ones, some some. The vehicles which are not that expensive, um, but they do cost money, right? It doesn't matter what it is; um, it's the maintenance which bites you. Um, but they are here. Th these are cars. They always been, always will be. Um, to drain your wallet <laughs> and put your smile on your face um, back, you know. Aston Martin DB6, um, great looking car, um, just been sold in uh, Bonhams for, that was Mark II uh, in Bonhams, um, been sold for 240,000 pounds, right? So it's quite quite impressive, some some of the quite like Mustangs and um, Triumphs and Lancias and uh, Alvises and Buicks. Um, Jaguars, you know, um, again, Mustangs are, um, Morgans and, um, Land Rovers, Bentleys, um, you, you'll find from, from A to B, um, in alphabet order, right? Every single week or, um, on this field, I guarantee you, um, and these are the vehicles which are actually not racing um, this is just before entrance and it's um, and it's free for anyone to enjoy if you are around here or nearby you know um, like I mentioned some stunning vehicles some amazing um, old school from from 1900 onwards you know or even below um, it's a uh, kind of you know like when you go to um, MMM board right <laughs> this is a a classic car board it's a different uh, ball game you know and then if you if you can see behind me uh, behind that fence right um, this is a fade car park right and um, over there again there is hundreds of another classic vehicles and um, If you don't like cars, right, or if you don't like classic cars, 
you don't have to you will when you will come here i guarantee you you will change your mind you know it's like um eating some e eating some sort of food when you had some um when you had uh, some perception in your mind uh, this food is not right but once you taste once right you addict it <laughs> this is how it is it's just addictive you don't have to own one but when you do look at them it gives you um, a great feeling you know um, just to just to see how the world has changed how it actually has transitioned from like an old VW and um, some E-type Jags behind me to something Elon Musk style, right? Or Polestar style, a rival. Um, it's pretty spectacular, right? When, when you had four wheels, transmission and engine, and now you have complicated systems like, and you're operating certain um, dashboard controls is just on a on a touch screen huge screen and um, they perform the po uh, manual functions were they used to do in the cars and some of the cars didn't even had any controls you had just a steering wheel and two or three pedals that's it you know I will leave you in peace the GT40 um, behind me a oh, great Ford so I'll leave you in peace um, like I said good revival will bring you a smile take care if you do like what we do click on the link below subscribe um, but if you do buy cars and you buy a car and you need a, to make a right decision carexma.com um, we have great ethical inspectors who are looking after your interests we, we not just provide an inspection but the value which is priceless about potential repair costs and uh, an information about the process about the seller would you be able to trust the person and would the car suit you take care